guys so I'm back with another story time I was gonna save the story time for another time but uh, that's a lot of times in one time <laughs> this story for another time but I just thought like hey it's it's on my mind so you know I'm just gonna say it this is a time where I almost got my ass whooped okay um yeah almost remember almost I lived in a city and where I lived at there was it was more prominent in, in uh, Hispanics in the part of Chicago that I lived in. I'm not gonna say the specific part, but um, even though I don't live in th there anymore, it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna say it. The part that I lived in was predominantly Hispanic. There was some blacks, some whites, mostly Hispanic. So, not like saying like, oh my God, it's Mexicans. No, 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 no. So, uh, one day I came home from school and I was bored. I was bored out of my mind. And then this girl, these two girls that I was in school with, I wasn't, you know, really close to them. They weren't like my best friends, but they were friends. I went to school with them. Me and my sisters talked to them and you know, whatever. Two girls, I'm gonna say their names. I really don't care. Like it happened almost probably like, you know, 10 fucking years ago. So, um, yeah, one of their names was Maria and the other girl's name was Cecily. Maria, were, me and Maria were the same age. Cecily was the same age as my oldest sister. So I, me and Maria were in sixth grade, Cecily was in eighth grade. The school that I went to was, like the grades went up from kindergarten all the way to the 12th grade. So there was like no high school unless you literally s transferred to a high school. Maria, I really don't remember how we like, you know, came in contact about hanging out that day. I believe we, you know, messaged each other on MySpace. That was when MySpace was popping, baby. MySpace was lit. So, um, I believe she, you know, messaged me like, hey, um, you know, come hang out with me and Cecily. So I was like, okay, without my mom's permission, without her permission, I left not telling her where I'm going, who I'm gonna be with, anything. Remember that, because that will come into play at the end of the story. We hanging out, I was with them literally from like 3 p.m. to like 9 p.m. So I was with them literally all day. And it was a school day, so after school, you know, whatever. So I was with them like three o'clock to like nine o'clock. And um, like I said, I didn't tell my mom anything, she didn't know anything, I didn't have a phone, nothing like that. I was bad. We were walking around, you know, just doing what girls do, walk around, talk about, you know, this person and that person. I was in sixth grade, I didn't know no damn better. We were, like where my house was located, we were like in a neighborhood, but then we walked all the way to like where the library and restaurants were at, and it was like, you know, busy streets and everything like that. So we um we went to the library first, came back, we were walking around all day, like not doing anything, we had nothing planned. We were just literally walking around. It starts to get a little dark, and we were outside of this Mexican restaurant, and there was this guy that stopped us and was like, hey, you know, what are you guys up to? I was the type of person, like, I wasn't like, oh my God, it's a boy, let me talk to him. Like, no, that wasn't like, I really didn't care. And he was way older than all of us, you know, all three of us, way older. We were all underage, he was overage, and he shouldn't have been trying to talk to us any fucking ways. Cecily and Maria, they was into that, you know, dating and all that. I was fucking 12. I wasn't thinking about, you know, Maybe even fucking 11, I don't even remember. Like, I wasn't, you know, thinking about boys. Like, no. They were talking to him and he's like, oh, you girls are cute. And he was Puerto Rican, he, he was nice looking. But, like I said, I wasn't like, oh my God. Like, no. I, he was talking to us and he's just like, oh, what are you girls doing? What are you guys, you know, where are you guys going? And nothing like, you know, something like that. There were three girls in the restaurant, and I remember one of them had on a yellow jacket. I'll never forget her yellow jacket. It was more yellow than this damn shirt. She had on a yellow jacket, she had black hair. That's the only one I remember, because I believe like she was like the ringleader of their little squad or whatever. It was only three girls, but I think she was just like, you know, the baddest one walking in that group. She saw, she saw us talking to the boy, and um, she was just staring at us, but I was the only one that noticed. Oh, hold on. 
Anyways, I was the only one that noticed um, her staring and her friends weren't really like, you know, like staring, but the way she was staring was like, bitch, like bitches, or you know, like looking at us like, what the fuck are you doing here? Type of looking. She's inside of the restaurant. We are outside, okay? Her and her friends came walking outside. And when they walked outside, Cecily was like, them bitches ugly or some shit like that. She said something along the lines of them bitches is ugly, blah, 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 blah. Time went on, we were still talking to the guy or whatever. And I honestly feel like these girls were watching us, like they were following us. Fast forward to the time that we were about to go home. We were about to go to Maria's house and then they were gonna walk me home because my house was so far from Maria's, it was really, really far from her house. So they were gonna walk me home because it was dark and everything like that. We were walking to Maria's house and we turned the corner. I just so happened to turn around and I see these three girls, not only them, but I saw about 50 more people with bats, with all, all these weapons. And I'm like, I was like, so I was in the middle of Cecily and Maria and I was like, uh, don't turn around, don't turn around. And Cecily's like, for what? Now, Cecily was a white girl. She thought she was hard, girl. She thought she was hard. Cecily was a white girl who didn't give a fuck. Cecily was a white girl who, you know, was like, you know, the type of girl, like, I'll whoop any bitch. Now, the corner, like, the, the, the sidewalk was really small. So when we got to the corner, they, like, we were here. Like, in the beginning, we were, we were here and they were back here. By the time we hit the end of that corner, they were like this to us. And I was like, oh shit. The girl in yellow, she said, which one of you bitches called me an ugly bitch? I stood up for myself and I said, first of all, you will not talk to me like that. Now, like I said, I use the term friend lightly because if it were me getting, you know, the treatment that Cecily and Maria got, they wouldn't help me. Y'all probably be like, you a petty bitch, who I don't care, they weren't my friends' friends, they were just girls that I went to school with. Like, okay. So, the girl was like, which one of you bitches called me an ugly bitch? And I told her, you're not gonna talk to me like that, and I did not say anything about you or your friends. That's the way I am, like, no, no, you're not gonna disrespect me. Then, uh, Cecily was like, ain't nobody call you no bitch, woo, ain't nobody call you ugly, blah, 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 blah. Next thing I know, the girl in the yellow motherfucking jacket. Bam, bitch! She knocked her in the fucking nose. Like, the girl in the yellow jacket, she literally decked Cecily in her shit. And I was like, I was like, oh God, I gotta go. So, <laughs> no, I, I'm not a punk, but you not finna, no, you ain't gonna hit me. We gonna have a fair fight if you wanna fight. The girl was fighting Cecily. Now, Maria ran, I seen that girl ran ran i saw her run and i ran too you not none of y'all finna leave me hanging hell no nah. that's why i say if it were me getting beat they wouldn't help me that's and maria were really close and i was like ain't that your best friend like why you gonna run off on her she ran and her house was literally at the other corner so like we were at this corner and her house was like at the end of that corner the you know corner we turned on she got all the way to her gate and the two girls that were with the girl in the yellow jacket started they ran with her like they ran with her now nobody followed me but they ran with maria to you know start fighting her they were jumping her up against the gate so she was on the gate getting beat up and then another girl came running from the crowd that that she was with you know they came with them girls and she you know came up to me standing in the grass so you know i was like we gonna fight you know i ain't gonna get bruised up or nothing you know whatever she asked me, she said, did you, you know, did you call my friend a bitch? And I was like, uh, I didn't call her anything and you're not gonna put your hands on me. You ain't gonna touch me. That girl got scared as hell. And I think she was scared because I'm black, you know. You know that stereotype, all black people can fight, woo woo. I think she got scared because of the way I was coming off. Like, you're not gonna touch me. I was like, you're not gonna fight me because I didn't say anything to you, your friends, or any of her fuck. I ain't said nothing to nobody. She stood there, I didn't get touched but I really thought I was going to get my ass whooped. Fast forward like five, 10 minutes. Cecily, now Cecily had on a white shirt. So she had on that white shirt. 
I promise you, her whole shirt was covered in blood. Blood coming from everywhere. I was like, oh my God. So she was like, why the fuck did you guys leave me? Well, I ain't had shit to say. I was like, you called her an ugly bitch? Like, and you, you was talking to her like you was finna whoop her ass. Like, that ain't got shit to do with me. That's not my problem. And like I said, I ain't no petty bitch. If that was my real, real friend, she wouldn't have got beat up. She was like, why'd you guys leave me? Woo, woo, woo. And then Maria goes to tell me, why didn't you help me? Girl, they was jumping you. What the fuck? I'm not, no. And then another girl came running. Y'all not gonna jump me. I was the one talking about them. Like, I didn't say shit. Not my place to help nobody. That started some shit. Especially when you want to come at the girl when she's asking you a question. Like, you finna, you know, go, you, you finna, you finna, you know, beat her ass. Like, that ain't got shit to do with me. So then we go into Maria's house. Me and my sister had a close friend named Sonia. And Sonia was a black girl. Um, we were one, like some of the few, it was me, my sister, Crystal, and Sonia, and then my little sister. We were like the only black people that lived over there. Surprisingly, Sonia was in the house with Maria's older sister, and I think her older sister name was Dahlia. Sonia saw me, and she immediately was like, what the fuck happened? And I was like, they just, you know, got beat up. I said, uh, they tried to jump me. Now, she was way older than me. Her and my sister were the same age, so she was kind of, you know, she was close with my sister. So it was like, if I'm in danger, her being my sister's friend, she's going to defend me. Now, she was like, what happened? Woo -woo. When I told her, I was like, they got beat up and everything like that. And she was like, oh, hell no. Now, she grabbed a butcher knife. And I was like, Sonia, put the damn knife down. Like, you're not going to go stab nobody. We're not going to have this. We're not going to have this interaction. We're not killing nobody tonight. She was like, well, I'll walk you home. Like I said, my house was far from Maria's house and she didn't want me walking alone knowing that those people knew what I looked like, you know, knew what had just, you know, just happened. So she was like, I'll walk you home. You're not walking by yourself. We get outside, I promise you, they, nobody was there. I was like, where the fuck did they go? I was like, they just disappeared. Like I would expect them to still be like, you know, walking away because it happened really fast. So they were gone. And when, when I got to the house, knock, 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 my grandma answered the door. She was like, your mom's mad at you. And I was like, I know. Well, my mom was in her room on the phone. And, and my room was literally right next to her room. So I tried to sneak into my room because my mom was in the master bedroom and her bed was like, away, like way away from the door. So I thought I was gonna be able to sneak in. And not, and not even have her notice that I even came into the house, which is kind of stupid. But yeah, I tried to sneak and she was on the phone. She said, I don't know who she was. She probably was talking to my auntie or something. She was like, let me call you back. Came in my room. Where the hell was you at? And I was like, with Cecily and Maria. She was like, for what? I said, mom, because they wanted to hang out with me. She said, I don't give a fuck. You didn't tell me where you were going. You didn't da 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 The usual what parents say when you don't tell them something. She was like, I'm gonna whoop your ass. I was like, oh God. When my mom whooped my ass or my sister's ass, she whooped our ass, okay? I was like, I'm not gonna get hurt because I almost just got a whooping outside, like for real. I had put on two pair of pants, like three long sleeve shirts, and like five pair of socks. She, she walked in her room and that's when I did that. She was like, you think I'm stupid? Take the motherfucking da -da 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 off. I was like, mom, only have one, one pair of socks, only have one shoe, one uh, one pair of pants on. She was like, no the fuck you don't. I know what the fuck that look like. Da -da -da -da. So point is she beat my ass after I lied to her and told her that I only had one pair of fucking socks on and one pair of pants and one shirt. And she really whooped me because went out without her permission. And don't be coming up at me like your mom is abusive. No, 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 no. She was just being a mom, which I completely understand because I would probably go crazy if my daughter left the house without telling me anything. Fast forward like a week later, I was with my family. I was with my sisters and my mom. And we were at the library, same library that those girls were nearby at the Mexican restaurant. I'm sitting in the car with my older sister and I see the same three girls. I was like, I really thought I would never see them again because it happened, like the fight that happened, it happened like three or four weeks, you know, 
prior to me seeing them again. So I was like, oh my God. I was like, hey, you know, the, them the girls that fought, you know, you know, so-and-so. And, -so. and um, my sister was like, for real? I was like, yeah, I got scared. I, I was scared, okay? I was scared because I thought they was gonna like bust my mama windows out her car or something. Like, not scared of them, but scared of what they could have, you know, could have did. The car that we were in didn't have tenant windows. So I was like, oh my God, they can see me. And they really were staring at me. But they didn't do anything. We didn't speak about anything. We didn't hide by, wave nothing. And after that, I never seen them again. Like, I never seen those girls again after the second time I seen them. In the daylight, which was a better, you know, view of them because when they fucked, it was really dark outside. And all we had was street lights. So I was like, oh my God, like, it put me in a little, like, I'm scared to go outside, but I'm not scared. Do you get what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. That's the story time of how I almost got beat the fuck up and I didn't because these bitches knew that I didn't say anything about them. So, Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. You know, stay updated with me. I'm trying to grow my channel. So, you know, I'm not trying to like, hey, subscribe to my channel. But subscribe to my channel because I know y'all like what I be posting. Like, don't play me. But anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.